awareness. I think the, the joint bid is much more compelling um, than if any one country tried to do it on their own. Um, the fact that uh, we're getting 10 matches um, out of the 80, um, I think is, is really exciting for, uh, for Canadians across the country. Uh, the, the reality is, is we would have been hard pressed to go it alone uh, with a, a 48 country competition. So I think we should be really pleased. Uh, personally, I'm really excited, and I think uh, all the people that I talk to um, are, feel very much the same way. So I think, uh, again, it's, it's a much more compelling bid, the fact that we've got three federations doing it together, and um, the fact that uh, we're getting fewer games, I don't think that's a, it should be an issue. It certainly isn't an issue for me and uh, the people that I talk to. It's not just about the 10 matches for our country as a developing football soccer nation. It's really about the eight-year runway that we could do to develop the game, develop the men's game, align the men's game, training fields, hosting international matches. There's a whole assortment of things we can do. We know how to do that, and we've done that for the women's game. And that was the runway we had up until 2015. We aligned a complete program. We introduced a new professional league. We have our players playing in the top leagues around the world producing some of the best players. We think we can do that on the men's side, but we need an eight-year runway. So 10 matches is kind of icing on the cake for us, but it's building that cake for us to get to 2026, and that's what we're starting to do today and with the United Bid.